How legit is compostable packaging? Like, why are all these environmental people so upset about it? Environmentalists are upset about it for two reasons. The first one is because what we think happens to them doesn't happen to them. Oh my. Secondly, some packaging is just bad for human health. Oh, I CrossFit, so it should be okay. Anyway, so in theory, you'd think that packaging like this made of cardboard, which is made of trees or bamboo uh, or whatever, should degrade, right? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, no. Oh, let me show you. What do you think would happen if I dropped some water onto this cardboard packaging? It'll get wet. So some water onto the cardboard and it's not seeping in. Whoa. So there's hydrophobic compounds called PFAS or PFAS in it, also known as forever chemicals that were used to make tanks waterproof uh, in World War II. And for over half a century, we've known that it can cause cancer, which is why so many people are cutting off their use of Teflon. So I can put that on my white shirt. So I only realized after editing that I never said what happens to this kind of uh, compostable packaging. So assuming that it ends up in your city composting facility and not in the sea or in your home compost, it contaminates the compost which farmers and landscapers don't want. So it typically stockpiles and goes to landfill or ends up contaminating soils where it was sold to risking huge problems like this asbestos disaster that happened in Sydney in 2024. It also encourages single use throwaway type of behavior which just doesn't serve us anymore, especially now that we know better. So what we can do is use reusable containers and bottles and tell our favorite brands and leaders it's time to do the right thing. And it could even be profitable as we've recently discovered and you can DM us for that research. So if you're interested in learning more, follow our page and do us a favor and hit subscribe.